What's up YouTube, back here again with another video, and today we're going to take a look at a parallel charge board. Now this is the Strix 4S parallel charge board, uh, the Joshua Bardwell edition. Alright, uh, now, Ready Made RC, this is the website that this comes from, and it is, I think it was like $23.99 or $24.99, 25 bucks, basically, gets you... This charge board, like you see here, gets you the um, balance lead connector, like this, and it gets you this um, adapter here. So this is kind of cool if you don't have uh, an XT60 lead on your charger, uh, they throw this in here. And this one, this is really nice, it's higher gauge wire, this is actually higher gauge wire than the one I had on my charger originally. Uh, so I've been using this if you have like an IMAX or a the uh, Turner G ones, you know, this would be good for you to use. So you get this, and you get this in the package. Now you might be saying, "Well, it's just a uh, charge board, right?" And it's 25 bucks. Well, what's the point? What's the features? So what, the reason why I got this, and why I thought it was worth the money, was a you can charge 10 4S batteries all at once. Well, parallel, following the rules, parallel charging, all that stuff, that's not what we're going to go over here. But you can charge up to 10 batteries, given you have the amperage and all that other good stuff. The other thing I like is that it's all just, it's all for 4S. So you can't mess up and plug your balance lead into the wrong connector, which I've done, and burn a trace on your, um, on your charger. Now I'll show you, I'll bring in a cheap parallel charger. And uh, not that one, this one. And you can see right here, I kind of painted, you know, marked it red. You can see there's a burnt trace right in there. Uh, 3S battery got plugged into a 4S and it let the smoke out. So that's what can happen, right? The other main difference uh, between a cheap one and this one here is you can see all these fuses. Each battery input has its own 15 amp fuse and it is a standard uh, car fuse 15 amp car fuse so you can get these you know at your auto store or any place that sells these fuses this one just has one 10 amp fuse again it's a car fuse but it only has one 10 amp fuse here at the top so you know, way better on the fuse situation, right? This one only has six and it has all these balance ports. I mean, these are good to have if you have other types of batteries. So, you know, that's why I have this one and I like it, but I have mainly 4S batteries. So that's why we got this one here. So ten, up to 10 batteries, each bank is fused. It's only 4S, so it eliminates the need for an accident. And it has a battery checker here on the top so when you plug your battery in it will you know this is like a basic battery checker 4 cell 14.9 volts and it'll tell you the amount of voltage on each cell which is kind of cool I mean you can easily tell that this one doesn't have any of those features this is all plastic and you know this one's got two like circuit boards sandwiched here it's just much heavier just feels much better um you know i think i paid like 12 bucks for this um i was glad you know not disappointed at all spending the 25 bucks on this charger so i'll just show you real quick we'll uh boot up my isdt charger now what you're going to do if you have like a Turnigy reactor or an IMAX B6, you're going to need to plug these into your charger. And then this is going to get plugged in to this. I have this charge. If you have a charger with an XT60 input already, boom, you're good to go. And then I'm going to... And then what he's also done is they give you the 6S balance port connector, right? So this one has a 6S. This one has all the wires because it can charge up to 6S. Well, this one only does 4S, so you only need the five wires, so it's already set up perfectly for 4S. So you're just gonna plug it into your balance connector. 
uh, whatever, you know, plug it into your 6S connector on your charger. And then we're going to be set up and ready to go. So I'm going to plug in these two batteries here. Now I know I have both of these. When you're parallel charged, make sure you check your batteries. You want them to be very, very close. Seven, uh, the highest is 375, 375. And we'll check the other one. So that's that one. Let's check this one. 378, 377. So this is within um, point th point 0 0.03 volts, which is inside you know the margin. You don't want to go any more than point 0 0.04. Point 0 0.04 volts different on your batteries. So we'll plug plug this guy in. And then we'll plug this guy in. And then you're simply just going to load this up with your batteries. I got two batteries here. And you just follow along. You can put up to 10 and make sure they're uh, of similar voltage within 0 0.04 volts. All right, and then you just charge. And it, at this point, it works the same as any other parallel charger. And there you have it, we're charging. Pretty simple, pretty cut and dry, nothing extra special to it. You know, it's not anything too crazy, but just a nice little improvement on something that we all probably use. I know I use you know, this one a lot and I had some issues. Um, you know, if you want something a little, a little, potentially a little safer with all these different fuses on here, uh, check this out. It's pretty cool. Link will be in the description. Uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.